Hey guys, it's Jane. Um, yesterday was the Hugo Awards and I just thought that I would quickly come and let you know what happened for those of you who weren't watching. The Hugos this year have had a pretty controversial, interesting sort of uh, progress. If you're not up on that and you want to read some um, interesting and relatively balanced analysis, there's a great article on Wired about it, um, which I'll link below. I'll also link the full list of all the Hugo winners if you want to know about some of the awards um, that I haven't mentioned because I'm only going to really hit the big ones. The best novel Hugo this year went to The Three Body Problem by Sixin Liu, translated by Ken Liu. I, you may remember I read that quite recently and I really enjoyed it. It was a great book. Uh, it still wasn't my favourite off the list, but nevertheless, it's a it's a worthy winner. So congratulations to Six and Lou and Ken Lou. And um, I think that's a really great indicator that uh, science fiction is um, ready to look beyond America and the UK and the Anglophone world. That's great. The best novelette also went to a translated work. This is one I've not read. Uh, the Day the World Turned Upside Down um, by Thomas Old Heuvelt, which I'm probably saying entirely wrong. Uh, he wrote it originally in Dutch and it was translated by Leah Belt and published in Lightspeed magazine. The best graphic story, Hugo, went to Miss Marvel, Volume 1. So yay, Miss Marvel, go G. Willow Wilson and team. I love Miss Marvel and I, I, I love G. Willow Wilson, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, there are also Hugos for video things, which I feel is a bit weird, but they're there. So let me tell you that the best dramatic presentation long form, i.e. best science fiction or fantasy movie, went to Guardians of the Galaxy, which it turned out my husband never seen. So we watched that again uh, last night on Netflix and um, yeah, it's funny. It's it's arguably by no means the best science fiction movie of the last year, but it's a lot of fun and that's worth something too, right? Um, and the best dramatic presentation short form, i.e. the best science fiction or fantasy TV show, did not go to Doctor Who this year, which my little Whovian heart is just a little bit sad about, but it did go to Orphan Black, which is a super fantastic show. How that, that central actress, how she manages to pull that off is just, it's, I, it, she needs all the awards, so I'm very happy about that. The other important award was the John Campbell Award, um, the John W. Campbell Award, which is a, not a Hugo, as they say every year. It's it's given at the same time, the same place, but it's it's set up differently. It's for the best new writer, and this year it went to um, Wesley Chu, who. Um, was easily the dapperest of the um, main award recipients on the night. So a lovely tie, Wes. As far as some of the minor awards go that I'm going to mention, the best fan cast went to Galactic Suburbia podcast. And I'd not heard of this before because I'm not really a podcast person. I, 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 I've listened to one or two, but the, it's not a, a major practice of mine. But I may have to make an exception. Galactic Suburbia the guy got up to receive the one in the Australian accent so I'm clearly going to have to check them out and the other one I'm going to mention is the best fanzine um, which went to Journey Planet and um, I'm going to tell, tell you about this because this uh, tells you brings you into the the funnest moment for me from the Hugos this year James Bacon, who's one of the uh, editors for Journey Planet, got up to accept the award and told this really funny story. It was the funniest part of the night up till that point. I think Connie Willis probably broke all land speed records as far as being funny goes later on in the process. <laughs> but at this point, this was the funniest thing that I heard. James Bacon told this hilarious story about he had previously won this uh, Hugo in 2011 and he had taken the, the statuette home to his parents and whacked it down on the dining room table and they'd been massively unimpressed. And then he had shown uh, the video of them being presented with the ward and their acceptance speeches and something strange came over his his mother's face and it turns out that the problem was that his co-editor that time around Chris Garcia had thanked his mum in the speech but James had not thanked his and so James says so clearly tonight I have to make a big effort and remember to thank 
Chris Garcia's mum, which is, yeah. Anyway, so I tweeted this and this is what happened. So that pretty much wraps up the Hugos as far as I'm concerned. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.